that's the best $15 I've ever spent on my saxophone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these custom palm key risers that I've just finished. Love it. Uh, I would never go, right. Instant improvement. I would never go back to playing without the Subaru. Hey, my name is Jay Metcalf, and on this channel, I make videos about the saxophone, saxophone lessons, sometimes interviews, sometimes gear reviews, and today we're talking about how to improve your saxophone by making your own key risers. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to get updates about what's coming up next. This is a project you can do at home. You could spend basically under an hour to make all of these, then you have to let it dry overnight and the next day it's ready to play okay so here's the stuff it's called sugru it's this moldable glue each one of these packets was enough to do one key riser on the bottom on the side keys here this was one packet and then i took one packet and divided it into two to make these two i recommend taking the keys off you get a better result if you take the keys off. However, you can do it. You definitely can do it without taking the keys off. If you don't want to, if you don't want to have to worry about messing up your horn and not being able to put it back together the way it was. This is all I used. Uh, this little device here is a key, is a um, spring hook. Get all this stuff on um, musicmedic.com. It's a great website for tools. Uh, and then there's these two screwdrivers. One is for the pivot screws on a saxophone. The other one is for the, the smaller one is for the hinge rods. And then there was the um, hobby knife that you can pick up at any hobby store. Uh, I'll put links for all this stuff in the description. Something to keep in mind is that this stuff has an expiration date. I tried to make this video a few days ago. My, my sugar is probably, um, I bought this like three years ago, it's been sitting here. Yeah, so, so it didn't work at all, it was a complete fail. So check the expiration date on this. So I'm gonna start off first with my D palm key. Come on, you see that? It's already done. And that's two palm key risers done. But it's even easier than I thought it would be. If anybody has any good uh, uses for Sugru besides palm key risers, put them in the in the comments below because I'm I found my new addiction. So we're gonna call that one done. Now I'm gonna do high E. Ah, okay, tear here. Oh yes, oh, that's so much better. That's the shape I've made for that E key, like a triangle. So verdict for the side keys, big, big improvement. I 
notes is going C to D. Now I'm playing D to E flat. I'm able to do it with very little movement. But the good news is, look, these fingers are still resting on the key pearls here. I think it would take me all of 15 minutes to get used to this entirely. All right, E flat to E is a dream now. You can barely even see my hand moving. And these, these fingers here rest very comfortably on the key pearls while I'm playing these notes. Another thing I hadn't even thought about, but this, this gives you a little bit of a grip. This, it, like, a, like a pearl is meant to do. Oh, I'm kind of, I have to say, I'm kind of blown away at how good it actually is. All right, it's a huge improvement. I'm just going to have fun now playing my alto. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel to get notified when I upload new videos, and visit bettersax.com for more saxophone learning resources. And I've got a lot of saxophones, so I think I'm going to have to order some more Sugru.